Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so I'm going to do a bloom on this 10 inch uh, round MDF wood cutout. Um, I put down my pillow paint which is partly um, um, a charcoal colored, it's from PPG and it is an enamel paint. But it's, it was a little thick so I mixed it with another PPG paint and it's a low sheen eggshell in dark gray. So that's my pillow paint. Um, I'm using some custom colors mostly today. So I'll just run them, run through them with you as I put them down. Um, this one here is um, it's a pink and um, it it uh, it switches to gold. So um, I'm not really sure what it is. I don't remember, but it's got the gold flash to it. So that's what I'm gonna put down first. second color I'm going to put down is it's a purple and I'm not quite sure what this is either <laughs> um, it almost looks like to me it's got like a green flash to it I don't I don't know or maybe blue um, it might be a bluish green color flash to it I'm not sure what I did to it but this is the next color I'm going to put down right here okay Right, and then the third color I'm going to put down is um, it's an interference, and it is interference gold, and it's from Perlex, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's uh, one of my favorites, actually. Um, so that's what I'm putting down next. And there's that one. Love interference colors; they're just awesome. So the next color I'm going to put down, it's an orange, um, it's almost maybe like a tangerine orange, or, um, I'm not real sure. It's a pretty color though, I like it. Um, and that is this one right here. Right, so mix this up, I'll show you. That's this color right here, I'm going to put that down. that one. Alright, and then the next color I'm going to put down, it's like a really hot pink or magenta color. Um, and I know part of it is Deco Art, um, and it is um, Quinacridone Magenta, but I'm not real sure um, if there's anything else with it or if that's all it is. Um, but this is the color. It's a really, really hot pink. <laughs> That's my last color I'm going to put down. A little thick. that one and then my um, my cell activator I'm using is a cross between uh, two uh, paints which is a uh, uh, Prussian uh, Prussian blue by Amsterdam and uh, I also used um, Payne's gray by Liquitex uh, I ran out of my Prussian blue so I just filled in with my Payne's gray so that's what that is that's what my cell activator is so let's uh, put that one on and then we'll blow this out. Give up, always give your cell activator a good stir before you put it down. And make sure it's mixed up good. Alright, let's put that on. Alright, let's 
blow this out and see how it goes. See how that goes for a minute. I'm going to probably take my take my straw and blow on that a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to blow on this. Yeah, do I have a hole in this sucker? <laughs> do somewhere. Where's the hole at? So to pop up there, it doesn't seem to want to. I don't know where my other straw is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ha uh -huh. it. Alright, let's close this one. Alright, let's let that sit for a minute. Or we'll get it. I guess actually I'm going to do this. Try to get the pillow paint up underneath of it, maybe. And then I'm going to um, take my skewer. Well, it's actually the bottom of my paintbrush when I'm using the other end of my paintbrush. It's one of these little paintbrushes, and uh, it works perfectly, actually. I really like it. I'm going to use that, and I'm going to define these petals a little bit more. So I'm just going to come up like this with them. This. Okay, now I'm going to take it and so I'm gonna use this, but I'm going to define these petals a little bit and I'm just going to make some modifications and make some pretties in them. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right. Okay, using this paint, looks like. Okay. I'm going to spin out. <laughs> I can always put some more in there if it doesn't. Fill it in. Fix it. And I like this one right here. This one's pretty. I don't turn out really pretty. Last one. All right. Let's do that. I kind of 
this I did on every one except for a few, so I guess I'm going to bring that down on the rest of them, since I did it on the other ones. Might as well just do it on this one, too. That came out. That's okay. Okay. Because it's got a goo book. No, no. Okay. I can always do this. <laughs> Take this. And you can use the end of your paintbrush here. You can always just do this. And then it kind of goes with that line back that you didn't have that you wanted. out. I'm really liking the way it's looking, so I'm hoping it spins out really good. I'll put this lid back on here. That's looking super cool so far, so we will see what happens when I spin it. Let's give her a slow spin. I don't want to spin too much because I don't want to get the, uh, I don't want to get my cells wonky, so I'm just going to do it easy. I don't want to do it too hard, but I need to get it a little bit. Alright, so let's move it over just a little. Let's do it that right way. Alright, let me see how much is moving because I think I'm just going to leave it. Alright. I really, really am happy with this. It's so pretty. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. This, this, I don't know if you can see the colors in this puppy, but it's it's really gorgeous um yeah i love it so let me get let me get the drips off of here and then i'm gonna i'll bring her up for a closer look so these colors are phenomenal let's get this off of here i might need to pop some bubbles sure you get all the drips off because um, I would come back here and all these pretties would just be gone. <laughs> get some right off there. I'm going to get some stick to the bottom here it looks like. Okay. okay. Alright, so let me get a couple of the bubbles off of here. I wish I had a torch. I don't know if it'll Oh, there's so much pillow paint on the bottom of this. Alright. Alright, well here she is. I'm going to pop some bubbles, but I'm going to have you take a look at her. I absolutely love this. Um, it's If you can see the colors, they're just so bright and vivid. It's beautiful. So, if you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I appreciate everyone who's done that already. If you ring the notification bell, you can get notified as soon as 
um, as soon as uh, one of my videos comes out. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!